Hello students, a very warm welcome for the next episode of 5 Minutes Math with Anup sir and I hope you guys are already enjoying the initiative that we guys have started. So now today we are going to complex number and going to visit a very very important part that is nth root of unity. It's a very very big topic or kisi bhi tarike se ek concept bhi karana 5 minute mein iska bohat difficult task hai but let's see. I am just not saying that I am going to teach you a concept here but I am going to give you something which might be very very helpful in solving a question. So the basic is that nth root of unity is for this kind of expression, right? Kaisi expression jab humare paas kya jata hai? Z raised to power n equal to 1. That means, iska ek root nahi hoga, iske kitne roots honge? We'll have n roots. One definitely is real when you put z equal to 1. The others could be imaginary or real depending on the value of n. And the roots are written like this which you should remember. 1, alpha, alpha square and so and so forth. So, this may note karne wali important baat kya thi that the roots of unity are always in GP. So, for example, you can remember this with the help of cube root of unity 1, omega, omega square. They are also in GP. So, the, the roots of nth roots of unity are in GP and also the important property that their sum is always 0. That is 1 plus alpha plus alpha square is always equal to 0. So, this is the basic thing that you should remember. But more interestingly, jo main agla aaj ka question karane wala hu, you would be surprised to know, ye knowledge tak check nahi ho. Kai bachyon ko lagta hai, that sir, I do not know these formulas, so I will not be able to solve the question. Let's see how the question can be asked. So the question says, if 1 alpha alpha square alpha raised to power n minus 1 are nth roots of unity, then find the value of 2020 minus alpha, 2020 minus alpha square up to 2020 minus alpha raised to power n minus 1. Looks like a very difficult problem, looks like a challenging problem. Ki sir, ye kaise solve hoga? 2020 alpha, agar main itne terms ko multiply karna shuru karunga to, first of all, how many terms are there? There are, how many terms? They are not n terms, these are n minus 1 terms. Sir, ye kaise decide ho gaya? Because if you notice, alpha here is power 1 and it goes to n minus 1. 1 to n minus 1 are n minus 1 terms. But now here, you do not in fact have to apply any fundamental of nth root of unity. Yes, you heard it right. You don't have to apply any that such fundamental. What's the basic fundamental we guys are going to use? So that means this question was solving x raised to power n equal to 1 because x raised to power n equal to 1 means that you are trying to get nth roots of unity. Right? Let's say you have given them as 1 alpha alpha square and you say that so and so forth you have alpha raised to power n minus 1. These are the roots, right? This is what it will be. So, this is the basic fundamental here. Agar mein basic ki baat karta hon, agar mein quadratic bolta hon, let's say quadratic. So, quadratic, agar ye hota, to agar uske roots hote hain, pata hote hain hume, to roots agar alpha aur beta the, aur jis mein x square ka leading coefficient agar 1 hai, to aap iski formation kaise karte? x minus alpha into x minus beta. Right? The same thing can be applied for any polynomial. So I can say x raised to power n minus 1. Since the leading coefficient of the highest degree term is 1, in the right hand side it will also be 1. It could be written as x minus 1 and now x minus alpha, x minus alpha square up till x minus alpha raised to power n minus 1. Isn't it guys? Because all of them are the roots. So, the same thing that you did for quadratic is actually applicable for any nth degree uh, polynomial, right? Aisa kuch nahi. Agar mujhe uske roots pata hai. Since the coefficient I repeat of x super n is 1, yahan par bhi kya jayega? 1 a jayega. Ab agar aapko ye cheech pata thi, now important thing is to know that this is not just basically a equation which is written, this becomes identity. And what do you mean by identity? That identities are always true for any value of x. So if it is true for any value of x, that means you can put any value of x. Now go back to the question, what value you should put? x should be this particular here, that is 2020. So if I put x equal to 2020, since it is an identity, it should be true for every value of x. Now you get to your answer, it should be 2020 raised to power n minus 1. This value would be what? 2019, right? I have just taken x minus 1 here. Why? Because the leftover thing, this will be the quantity which you were actually looking to find. Deekho, answer aagaya, question is over. Simply done. 
neatly done whatever you want to call in your own lingo this was the required stuff we have got the answer this is the final answer and now you notice without even solving any any formula of nth root of unity this looks like that this question is of nth root of unity sir bahut important formulas use honge we haven't used anything just simple knowledge of how polynomials are written when there are roots which are given to you you could have solved easy peasy problems like this but jab main isko padhta hu to mujhe lagta hai bahut bada question pooch liya sir advanced level ka question pooch liya this is a lollipop question right now you get it so please be with us for all these kind of 5 minutes quick quick motivational as well quick uh, uh, confidence booster videos where you can learn something in those 5 minutes as well hope you love the video if yes please hit the like button and do do not forget to share it with your friends as well god bless bye bye see you in the next video